Today's the day. <laughs> I am not naked. I am wearing pants. And uh, I'm not really waking up now. This is just me waking up for the camera because I didn't charge my phone while I slept. Today is the day. Today is the day. Today is the day. What day is today? Today is the day. Today is the day that I watch Black Panther. Today is the day that I watch Black Panther. Today is the day. Thank you. <sighs> Question is, which one do I go for? Um, this is my traditional. These are both African shirts. That's from Central Africa. This I got made custom for me for an event a while back. That's my, that's my other African shirt. My, my, we're African, but we still gonna wear Western clothes, African shirt, so. Maybe I should go with that one. <laughs> okay, this is all dependent. On what pants are actually available. If they're not dry, it's your fault. Mine. Yes, yours. They are dry, and they need to be ironed. Oh, they are not dry. They are not dry and they do still need to be ironed. Put them in the sun. Put them in the sun. Put them outside in the sun. We only have a few hours. You've already watched it. Can you believe this guy? He watched it in a VIP cinema. But you watched other movies so much. I don't. Can you? He watched Black Panther. So he watched my party for me uh, with my mom and my aunt and cousin, sister. And uh, now he wants to watch it again. Just to, just so that he can say, oh, I watched it twice. And they watched it in a VIP cinema. Uh, I've been working the whole week. So, and when I say working, I mean like, I've been working 16 hour days, fam. Fam? Fam. It was well worth it though. Shout out to Boston! Um, anyway, uh, what are we saying? So the pants aren't fully dry. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with that shirt. I might go with that one. But I think I'm going that one. It's a little, it's a little hard today. A little hard to wear like, long sleeves. Everything black. Although that's what this about. That's what this about. It's about everything black. Black pants. Oh. Okay, what's the time? Time clock, where you at? Uh, okay, it's 9.39. Ooh. That's not good. Hold up. You got that away from me! But it could've stayed from me! What? Yeah, yeah! I've been seeing white he won't want to eat since a little boy. Now it's time for Africa to jump in. So, I actually don't have, <laughs> I don't have the rest of the verse, I was, I was just freestyling, I don't know if you could tell, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so, I'm, I'm gonna go do a workout with my little brother, and then I'm gonna have some breakfast, and then, yeah, then I'm gonna watch Black Panther. <laughs> Um, yeah, if you think I should do a full, full verse for Humble, um, say so in the comments below. Oh, I forgot my skipping rope at home. I mean, adversity. Damn, I hate that Freudian slip when I accidentally call varsity home. Damn. So are you excited to watch it? Bruh, you ain't, you got no idea. Black Panther. It's time. Huh? I'm 
saying it's time for Black Panther, dude. We're out here going to watch Black Panther with Byron. I'm really watching Black Panther with two white friends. Oh. Cultural preparation. <laughs> Uh, woo! It's time, Bruh, I'm so ready. I'm ready. I was born ready. Bruh, I'm ready. By ready. Byron's ready. Byron's ready. He's black, but he's ready too. Yo, I just got back from watching Black Panther and damn. Woo! I don't even know, man. I don't even know. Lunch! <laughs> Bruh, Black Panther was ridiculous. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm finna make South Africa just like that, bruh. Yeah. I'm finna put South Africa in a position where we, where our conflict is how much we're gonna help the world, not how much we have to help ourselves still. Yes, but it's a we're communicating What? You're not coming in here. Words. What are you doing? Uh, I'll see you later. Popcorn when we go. Yes, I am. But... Uh, uh, you can't have doubles. You're taking that. Now this is a Wakanda. It's also Wakanda. Without permission. Who are you? Ah, oh, where do I even start? <sighs> Black Panther. <laughs> that is a visual spectacle. Acting was on point. Um, Ryan Coogley did an amazing job the way he directed it. Music was fantastic. I've been listening to the, I've been listening to the Black Panther soundtrack since the day it came out, and it it goes all the way. And I think like a good number of the songs that were. Yes. There's a little bit of blue. Look. There's no blue there. Bro. There's a little bit. Look. No oh, I'm Wakandian. Look. It says Wakanda on the actual thing. What are you talking about? Those are just your veins, dude. Oh, but it comes. <laughs> uh, anyway, what was I saying? Man, where was I? I was talking about the soundtrack. The music was... That's great. Um, they so in the soundtrack, there's like in between songs, they have these these parts with like. Um, by the way, this this will not be a spoiler free review. Like from now on, if you haven't watched the movie, go just leave. Um, okay, you can jump to to this to this time if you want to um, skip the spoiler. But I'm talking about the movie now. Um, there's like this little drum of like this. I'm actually gonna play a little bit of it. Okay, so this, you see that sound right there? We like, we like, we like fast cars. That, there's a whole scene of that, that one scene where they're in, where they're in Korea and they're fighting and that's like, choo, 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 going off the whole time on the key and the corner just keep going off just like destroying people with the spear fam with the spear and those and whatever those uh those those round things that they had um that the key has um that, that was that part was ham because it's like usually when you hear when you see when you see people kicking ass that much ass usually is i mean let's be honest it's just white people like I think the thing that was just so crazy was seeing two black women just destroy everyone. Like, nobody had a chance. Nobody had it. You know every white man that left that place alive felt scarred by the fact every time they see a black woman now, they're just going to be like, they're just going to be, 
just going to be traumatized. <laughs> they're just going to be traumatized because, like, because they were absolutely destroyed in that battle. Um, the Dora Maye killed it. All of them. Killmonger. Dude, Killmonger's story is definitely one to sympathize with. But, man, he is an asshole. <laughs> Killmonger would have ruled and the whole world would have been Africa. Although, like... The whole world would have been Wakanda, bruh. That's that's the way it would have been. Africans would have been running it like there's nothing they could have done. So I continued talking about this for like a good 20 minutes, talking about Wakanda, talking about the China, talking about should we talk about the whole thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right ahead. We're gonna skip that. Um, we're gonna move on to the next thing. So we're about to go uh, watch Black Panther for the second time today. Um, now we're going with the family. Uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. Let me take these sweets because I know I'm not getting them in the box. Um, <laughs> Got to bring the, 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 the glasses with because they're, they're about to charge extra for that. Uh, yeah, had to put the African shirt back on. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, uh, let go. Uh, let ride. My brother. Uh, what are you doing? I'm just filming you, bro. No. Aren't you excited for round two of Black Panther? Round two! Woo! Let's go, Wakandarans! Waka Woo! Uh, really, Wakandarans, come on. What do you want, what do you want me to say? Wakanda forever! Wakanda forever! Wakanda! 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 Wakanda!
Always trying to take pictures this of us. This thing immediately puts like things on on the picture. What faces? Yeah, it puts like the circle. Mm -hmm. No, like um, like uh, cupcakes and things like that. Bubbles. What? It's Why? putting bubbles and let's see if it does that in my face. Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know how to remove it. <laughs> Wait, so do all your pictures just have like? No, just you, just you, <laughs> just this one. This hasn't ever happened before. So we're at the the VIP cinema lounge now. Bless. We just had dinner. And now we're super chill. And now we're waiting for our tickets. Oh yeah, we went to exclusive books too. And our mom is taking pictures of us. <laughs> and the things that are and for some reason there are photos on the pictures and this is hilarious. <laughs> so, no, you have a too. look, have a look. Oh no, it doesn't show. Oh yeah, so we're about to watch Black Panther 1030 movie. Yeah. Ah. Just finished watching Black Panther the second time. Blessed. Woo! Woo! What's up? What's up? Uh. Wakanda forever! Let's lay that. Let's get this warm light. Yo, so it's been a pretty good day. I watched Black Panther twice. Um, great film. Uh, I loved it. Um, I might actually just do a, do a video where I only speak about Black Panther. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to do that. Yeah, I'll probably publish that the day after I publish this. Uh, yeah, watch it with the family. That was great. Uh, I love how black the movie is. How unashamed the African, the whole experience is. I love that they speak Osa, even though half the time the way they speak it, <laughs> you can't really hear what they're saying because, like, the pronunciation is way off. But hey, it's chilled, man. I, th I think the thing that was craziest for me, I'll just speak on this now, I'll probably speak on it again, um, is like, it's hella inspiring to just see. I think, like the reason I was so shook after the first time I watched it earlier, oh yeah, it's like 2 a.m. now, so not even today, but less than 24 hours ago, right? So the thing that, that, that left me so shook about it is that like, like this was a portrayal of a futuristic, this is Afro-futurist, Afro -futurist. it was amazing to see this kind of portrayal of an African country. Um, everything was African about it, like, so we had like a super high-tech lab looking at the bad cave but it had it was led by a young black woman and like everything in there was African the art in there was African there was art that was African inside the super high-tech lab and then there was like babes would do home playing in the background um yeah, like there's like the super high tech society, but then they're still doing like they still have a king, so they still keep the African monarch. Which, by the way, African monarchs are treated as nothing in today's society. Traditional monarchs in general, except for European monarchs, are treated as almost nothing. Um, it's almost addressed in the movie actually, because the way I forget what this agent's name is, the the token white guy in the movie. Um, the way he talks to T'Challa in the beginning, it's sort of like, oh, this dude is forgetting that he's speaking to a king. Like, he's treating him like he's just some dude. Meanwhile, if for some random reason the Queen of England was on some spy mission, this American spy, there's no ways in the hell that this American spy would be speaking to the Queen of England this way. But, y'all, forget that it's the same level. They're both monarchs it's just england like what what like try to colonize the whole globe so like oh they have they still have like this lingering respect 
who forget that the reason they have respect is because they have this power because they colonized the world. Ooh, col- colonialism very bad, but is it really? Because like, uh, people still hold the power for that, and like, ain't nobody returned the gold. And <laughs> oh yeah, there's even that scene with um with Killmonger. So that that scene where he we're continuing with spoilers, just saying that um there's that scene where Kilmer was talking to the museum uh artifact expert right and he's like nah this is from wakanda um but you, i mean whoever it was retrieved from so and so i forget what the, the actual place was um but this is from wakanda and it's like and it's like but nah don't worry i'm gonna, I'm gonna take it off your hands and then she's like uh i'm sorry sir this is not for saying and it's like oh but yo y'all didn't buy this y'all stole this everything in here is stolen it was just taken from there and it's, and it's like uh what do you he specifically said uh nah y'all just took this like y'all took everything else and it's like sort of like yeah you, you know and then the part where Shuri calls the agent when the agent wakes up is like, hey, colonist or whatever. Like, like it's just like little things like that that are kind of like, I mean, yo, I'm actually, it's been five minutes in already. I have been saying for five minutes. <laughs> Man, the, 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 I could talk for hours about this movie. Here's what I'm going to do because I'm going to go to sleep now and this video is probably dragging on. So I'm going to, I think I'll, I'll, I'll sit down, I'll look at everything I've learned from this movie, and I'll write it out. I've watched it twice, so I'll do another video where I talk about just the the little things and the big things and the themes, and then when the movie itself comes out, I'll do another analysis of why. Um, maybe I'll maybe I won't just do an analysis of this. I'll do an analysis of um, of. Uh, the relationship oh the relation this is a nice topic the relationship between film between the entertainment industry and blackness oh that's a great topic we got get out in the oscars oh the oscars are today to well today in america because today is sunday here so it'll be today because it's sunday it will be sunday in america but actually it will happen tomorrow because the, the hours are actually kind of messed up because they're still behind us but the point is 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 it, it's going to be a very interesting video because we'll have get out to analyze we'll have this we'll have jang on chain we'll have 12 years of slave we'll have um birth of a nation we'll have quite a few so we'll have luke cage the series yeah so i think i want to do something like that where i just look at the relationship between the entertainment industry and blackness and how oh and we have dear white people too oh we got a lot of real we got a lot of stuff man and then we also have like the way like rap is pop now like the hip-hop vert like how the trapping that hip-hop trap the trapping stuff is like pop culture Ooh, we, we might have a young series it's not even a video anymore like i might do like a a video essay series on entertainment and blackness that would be an interesting man i have been this is i just had a break guys guys <laughs> guys i just had a breakthrough like i have been trying to figure out what i am going to do my video essays on this could be it yo if you liked this video like it subscribe if you want to subscribe I am Sego. This has been Straight Arrow. Um, I don't do these kind of videos like vlogs often, but uh, if you like it, say so. If you like it and think I should do more, say so in the comments, and uh, I'll try and make my life more interesting so that I can do more vlogs. Um, that is it. Goodbye.